the William & Mary men's soccer team received major contributions from its reserves and controlled the contest throughout in a 2-0 victory over Campbell on Saturday afternoon. Certainly happy to get a result. You know, it's uh, good to come back home after three road games. And uh, I think our performance overall was pretty good. And, and, you know, always good to get a shutout and to, to score two goals for two games consecutively is, uh, I think, good progress for us. The Tribe's offense was dangerous in the early going, twice hitting the crossbar in the first half before junior Graham Guidry made his presence felt just two minutes after coming on. His shot from 18 yards out beat the Campbell goalkeeper to the near post to give William & Mary a 1-0 lead. We had great contributions from, from the guys that came off the bench today. We had a number of guys play, and you know, it was a hot day, first of all. <clears throat> uh, so we knew that it would be important for us to get some guys some, some breaks, some of the starters some breaks, and, and I think that uh, our reserves came in and did a great job. It's always great. You know, Graham uh, had a moment today. He hasn't been playing a lot, but he's been persistent in training and uh, working hard, and obviously he grabbed his moment today with both hands, made a huge contribution. Sophomore reserve Julian Ingo drew a penalty kick for the Tribe in the second half off a nice pass from junior Ryder Bell. Junior Antonio Bustamante converted the spot kick for his second goal in as many games, providing the final 2-0 margin. You know, I thought our possession overall was pretty good against Carolina for certain stretches of the game, and uh, once we had an opportunity to really step back and evaluate and analyze the, the Carolina match a little bit more closely, I think we felt very good about, about uh, the performance, obviously not the outcome. And so, you know, we came into today with some confidence. Uh, we always, I think, gain a little bit more confidence from playing at home. And uh, I thought overall we were in control for most of the match today. The Tribe returns to action when it hits the road for a midweek game at Longwood on Wednesday night. Kickoff is set for 6 p.m. from Farmville, and the game will be broadcast on the Big South Network.